All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to revert to your 441.41 driver, which is known to be the most reliable for Fortnite. So the first thing you want to do, open up Google. And if you didn't want to do this step, you could just go into control panel and just uninstall it that way. But this is the way to fully clean the old or the driver you have now. This is the best way to fully clear out anything that has to do with that driver. So you want to type in display, display driver uninstaller. Go ahead and click on that. And you're going to want to click on this first link here that comes up in Google, OK? You're going to want to scroll down and find your region. So I'm West Coast, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. Give it a second, and it'll start downloading in the bottom left corner here. We're going to let it download. There it goes, see? Shouldn't take too long. It's not a big file. And if for any reason you cannot extract this file, you're going to need to download 7-Zip, or in my case, I have WinRAR. It's an easy download. Just go ahead and Google it, WinRAR. So you're going to want to, once it's downloaded, right-click and go Show in Folder. And then we're just going to go ahead and, and extract it right here. You're going to want to double-click on this folder. Double-click. And then double-click on this. No, I lied. Okay. So after it's extracted, double click on this right here. There we go. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah. So not the folder. Click on the one that says DDU, the one that says application. So double click and then extract that. Now you double click on the file folder and then you have the application right here. So you're going to want to run it as administrator. That's big, guys. Make sure you run it as admin. Press OK. Press close. Press OK. And then from here, I'm, act I'm not going to do this step because I've already done this, but you're going to want to type GPU under device type GPU and then select NVIDIA. And then from here, you're going to want to hit clean and restart. It's going to create a restore point for you automatically, and then your system will restart. So after that restarts, you want to come back to this video. And if you have two monitors, one might go black temporarily because you're not going to technically have a driver in your system at the moment. But don't worry. Just come back to the video and then follow the steps. And your mouse is going to feel a little delayed as well because it's also going to revert you back to 60 hertz. But I'll explain all that after. So go ahead and hit clean and restart and then come back to the video. All right. So now that I'm assuming your drivers are clean, you don't have any more drivers, uh, NVIDIA drivers in your system, you're going to want to exit out of everything and go back into Google. <coughs> and usually you can just go to the NVIDIA website and search up drivers. But when I did that, it wouldn't allow me to go back as far to go back to 441.41 because it's such an older driver. So I just type in NVIDIA driver 441.41. And it should be the one right on top here. Um, I think either one of these will work. So just go ahead and click on the first one here. And then see, it comes right up here. And if you want to make sure it works with your graphics card, you can look at it all up right here. It shows every graphics card that it's compatible with. And it's the Windows 10 64-bit. So you may have to Google the 32-bit if you have a 32-bit Windows. And then from here, you're going to download it, OK? And then once it's downloaded, this is a key thing. And I credit uh, Chris on YouTube, also known as Frethy. Um, we're going to break down that driver as well. So once it's downloaded, it's going to be right here just like when you download anything else. And so this is an important step. So you're going to want to create a new folder. So if you right click on your desktop and go to um, new, go to folder, you can just title it NVIDIA drivers. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to right click. It'll show up in your downloads. So you'll go to downloads. You'll see it right here you'll see the driver that you downloaded. Just as an example, I'm going to drag this into here. OK? And then once you have the driver that you just downloaded in the new folder, extract it into that new folder. OK? And then I'm going to show you how to extract the files or to delete files that you don't need from that driver to actually make it run even smoother. OK, so for instance, this is my driver right here. So once you 
extract the download into this new folder, it's going to show a whole bunch of more files than this. So what you're going to want to do, look at the ones I have here, Display Driver, GeForce Experience, and B12, EULA, List Devices, Setup, and then another Setup. What you're going to want to do, like I said, you're going to have a lot more files. Go ahead and expand this to make it bigger. You're going to want to highlight everything that's in here. Like I said, you're going to have a lot more than me. Hit Control A. It's going to highlight everything. You can let go of Control A. It's going to all be highlighted and selected. From what you're going to, what you're going to want to do now is hold the Control button. If you hold the Control button, you can individually press. You see how I'm pressing certain ones that disappears. They, they're not highlighted anymore. And then it leaves the certain ones unhighlighted. Okay, so once you're at Control A, you're only going to want to deselect these ones that I have here. So on the whole list of the ones you have selected, go ahead and uncheck the display driver, the GeForce Experience, the MV12, the EULA, the list devices, the setup and setup. So when you're done, those these what is it? One, two, these seven here should be the only seven not highlighted, and the rest should be all highlighted still. Remember, you have to hold Control to press these, okay? And then you can go ahead and delete everything else that's not display driver, GeForce Experience. And if you don't feel comfortable doing the control A, you can just go in and delete every other file in this folder that's not these. You just need to make sure these seven are left. And then once you have deleted everything, you go ahead and just double click on setup and it'll run the installation for you. You don't wanna do express installation, do custom installation and then make sure you check perform a clean installation. And then it'll install your driver. At this time, your second monitor will probably come back working again if you have two monitors. And then, so once you know your monitor or your driver's back installed, you, then you'll have your control panel back. You open up the control panel. These will all be back to default. So you don't, you wanna fix up your uh, control panel again. So from here, just copy my settings. So. These first six settings are all gonna be off. CUDA GPUs all, DSR factors off, low latency mode on, monitor technology fixed refresh, multi-sampled AA off, open running GPU, make sure you select your GPU for this. Power management mode, it's important to have that on preferred maximum performance. Preferred refresh rate is always highest available. Um, silk smoothness probably won't be there for you, but you don't have to worry about that. Uh, shader cache and texture filtering on and on. Negative, negative LED bias, allow, high performance for quality, trilinear optimization on, threaded optimization on, triple buffering and vsync off, and pre-rendered frames one. All right, and then configure sound and phys X. Make sure you change this to your graphics card again and hit apply. Change resolution, make sure once again that you're on your native res or whatever res you want, and then the highest refresh rate possible. And then also in the adjust image settings with preview, Select this and change it from quality to performance and then click on use advanced 3D settings. That way it uses the settings we set up here. Under manage 3D settings, go to program settings. If it says anything other than Fortnite here, you can go ahead and hit add. If you played it recently, it'll be here like it is for me right here. If not, you'll have to browse and then you'll have to double click on your drive that has Fortnite and then go to program files Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and then double click on the shipping EXE and then it'll be there. That way Fortnite has priority. <clears throat> the next big one is uh, if you have G-Sync, make sure that's all off for every monitor. Do not check G-Sync. You don't want to use G-Sync. And then adjust desktop size and position. If you're like me, mine only says GPU under perform scaling. If it has a display option, go ahead and hit display and then put no scaling, like this one. My second monitor has the display option, so you hit display and no scaling. But if you're like me and it's not display, then you want it on full screen and then leave it on GPU and press apply. And then I would restart your computer from there and you're officially running 441.41. Hope this guy uh, helped you guys out. If it did, like and subscribe. VGK Cubs here. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.